Welcome to episode 9 of South Holston River Fly Shop Fly Tying Videos. I'm your host, Josh McFadden. Today we're going to be tying a sulfur emerger, and it, it has this, uh, this shuck appearance, this stuck in the shuck thing that's, that's real good for uh, cripple type patterns and uh, to really look like the, the realistic sulfur that is, that is breaking, out of, breaking out of its nymphal shuck and is kind of stuck there. Um, so this is a really great emerger. Uh, what we're going to be tying it on today is we're going to be tying it on a size 16, 2487. For the tail, we're going to be using pheasant tail fibers. For the abdomen, we're going to be using a quill side of a biot and rusty brown. You could use dark brown too if you had that. We'll be using rusty brown today. And we're going to be using some sulfur orange uh, dry fly dubbing as well as one CDC feather and natural brown. Um, you don't have to be real, uh, this, the, these do not have to be your best CDC feathers. These can be your small, uh, short feathers that you have uh, called out of the bunch. Um, this is just going to help keep, keep the, the fly near the surface where it needs to be and, and looking like an emerging pattern. It's a really great pattern for, uh, for representing the sulfur emerger kind of a cripple, one that's really um, quite possibly not going to make it. And so that makes it an easy target for the fish, and um, it's a really great pattern, so we definitely need to tie it. Let's get to tying. All right, guys, this is what we're after, this little sulfur emerger. And uh, it's got a rusty brown uh, by it, um, or quill side, actually, uh, for the abdomen. And uh, it's just a great little stuck in stuck shuck kind of a merger uh, during the sulfur hatch so um, we're going to go ahead and tie one of these up mount my hook in the vise alright now I've got yellow thread and uh, yellow 70 denier thread I'm going to go ahead and start that I'm going to come down here into the bend a little bit with it Okay, and uh, trim my excess there. Now, what I want to do right here is just have a few, uh, like four or five pheasant tail fibers for just the end of our little, what would be the shuck. So, um, the little tail portion of the fly. So, I'm going to go over, wrap over those, and uh, just a little bit of pheasant tail just popping out right there. I think that makes it look good. Now I'm going to continue wrapping forward over top of those just to uh, to maintain the taper of the fly. I think that's important when you are tying flies to um, to try and maintain the the proportion by using um, by tying in your materials in the in the right fashion. And so now we're going to go ahead and use a uh, a brown quill that comes off of the biot, uh, or it comes off of the same feather as the biot on the opposite side. Okay, and uh, this is rusty brown color. Now, to to look at this, um, you have what is a a clear kind of translucent side, and you have a, a side that has the rib. Now, when we're we're tying this in, I really want the ribbed side to be uh, down. And so whenever I, I'm going to trim it up a little bit, whenever I go to, to wrapping it forward, then I'm going to get that nice raised rib look. And um, so tie that in, rib side down here, and um, bring that back to where my abdomen should begin. I'm bring this back, bring my thread back up there. I'm going to apply a little Sally Hansen's here for buy it durability. Okay, that's good. All right, guys, kind of got interrupted there by by battery failure. So uh, back at it, we're wrapping the uh, the quill forward. We want to have this this raised portion um, to the rear, so it gives us this nice segmented look. Mm. 
sometimes when it's right up here next to the end, um, you can just turn the vise there while pinching it and get your last few wraps in if you're running short on it. And really what we're looking for is just the impression of a shuck and um, or the last part of the nymph is trying to hold on to the dry. So um, Once we've come up about halfway with that, we've got a layer of glue underneath there too. We're going to go ahead and dub with our sulfur orange um, dry fly dubbing, super fine dubbing. Just dub a small little small little ball here that's gonna precede the precede the wing portion of the fly. Okay? Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and tie in our uh, our wing feather, which is you know just a natural brown. Uh, you could use dun. I'm going to use a natural brown CDC feather. Um, because this is an emerger, again, like the other that we had done, um, you don't need to be uh, super critical about, about the, uh, the feather that you're choosing because it is just an emerger. And so uh, it's not really in intended to, to float all day long. Uh, we just really want it in the film. So I've got the CDC feather here, and uh, what I what I want lengthwise is uh, just shy of coming to the end of my body. Okay, so I'm going to pinch that, pinch that down, and get some thread wraps on it. Okay, looking good, and I will trim off the extra feather, and now we just have to dub the the head portion of the fly um, a little bit in front of this wing with our dubbing to uh, to just kinda round out round out this pattern here kinda just want this fanned back over the body a few turns of dubbing right here it's gonna make it nice Okay, now I've got plenty of room here for my head, so I'm going to come in here and tidy up a little bit. I'll be ready for my whip finish. Okay, and a little whip finish and that'll do it. It's a sulfur emerger that's it's kind of somewhat stuck in the shuck and, and it's a, a real good pattern. Happy time. All right, this uh, the sulfur emerger pattern that we just tied is really a two for one deal. Um, this is the blue wing version of the fly. Uh, just change out the, the dubbing color and the biot color. Go with an olive biot and olive dubbing. And um, there's, uh, looks like a Coke de Leon tail or a hackle tail there. And um, more or less the same, same procedures, but you're tying it smaller. Uh, this particular fly right here is looking like a 22. So um, these can be tied very small into blue wing sizes as well. So there's a freebie. Happy time.